Okay, so I'm gonna try and take this window seat out. Um, I'm gonna try that. That, which is a chain and bolts going through the actual wood part of the window. Um, which should be strong enough. I, I'm afraid if I attach the uh, frame, it'll just rip the frame off and the window will come crashing down. The other thing I want to try is getting a strap like this around the whole window. Um, so I've cut that notch out up there um, to try and get the strap around, but I haven't, I haven't been able to get the bottom. So I think I'm going to try the bottom from the outside. Okay, so this is what I got. I got the strap tied on, holding the window together. <clears throat> and then I should be able to use the chain to pick it up out of the, uh, the hole. I'm not sure I want to be in this thing. Dude, I am like wicked nervous about this. So, I don't want to be in the bucket. So I've come inside to hook the hook on and I'll control it from down below. Ah!
Oh my God, it worked. <laughs> oh man. That's so awesome. There it is on the deck. Wow. That was nerve wracking. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, that was scary. It's just like, could have gone a million different ways. I guess worst case scenario, I die. Second worst, I get seriously maimed. Third worst, I destroy the floor I just built. Fourth worst, well, I guess it just comes out the way I expected, which it did and didn't break and wasn't really all that eventful. It just kind of came out, except for that initial tearing um so the yellow strap is to hold the window together so that the bolts that i put in don't didn't tear the frame apart right so i could have torn the frame right off the glass and then the glass would have crashed down and i would have been carrying just a frame um so yeah now i have to figure out what i'm going to do with the picture window and then take the rest of that off man Day nine. Off to a good start. It's our. It's only nine forty-two. Okay. That's how far I've gotten. Got most of the structure off up above. Now I think that the rest of it's mostly taking that tile off inside, getting the sheetrock out. And then I take the two braces off and then I'm good to go. Then I have to figure out how to weather seal it temporarily so that we can live in there, but I can also continue to build out here. So, whew. so far. So, let's see. Alright, All right. so where we're at is it's a hundred degrees and I've got a huge mess. I've got shingles all over the place, insulation, styrofoam, parent umbrellas, but I have the window seat off. The Valley's just delivered my lumber over there. Uh, unfortunately, the sheathing's on top, and I didn't think about that before he took off. So now, in order to get to any of the lumber, and I can't get the tractor around to get the forks under it. So now I have to unload one by one. Darn it. Uh, oh well, we got a huge mess, but the thing is, 
I can't quite clean up until I've got this hole somewhat weather tight because that is our living space. So I have to make that better. So that's what's next in the hot sun. Uh, uh, guys, it's 6.30. I've been going since 6.30. I'm exhausted. I still haven't cleaned up my mess. I still haven't started building any walls. I did get the lumber delivered, so that's cool. Got like a big mess here still. But it was just a lot of time to, actually it was pretty easy to take the window seat off. Um, it was plugging the hole that was not so easy. Um, I have it plugged. And I'm going to wash them from the outside. She's washing them from the inside. Um, yeah, sorry. I am just like haven't looked at it from the outside yet. So those are the same sliding glass doors that I put in the garage. There's three of them there. Which basically makes a picture window. Um... And, yeah, I did an angled sill, and it should last for the next couple months. And if we get to a point where I can't finish this by winter, it should last through the winter. Um, and it's important to have windows in there, because that room doesn't have any other windows, and it gets really claustrophobic in there. And I don't know if you could see, but we are expecting a baby. And she's going to be home for four months, and I think she would kill me if she had to be home for four months in one room without any windows. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the bucket back down and go up and clean some windows and, and then stop for the day and have a beer because uh, I'm exhausted. I got a picture of a window for sale in case you're interested. It's got a crack in it and two inspection ports that I had to drill. Oh, and I bent the aluminum frame. Oh, I like that you can start this bucket truck from the back. That's so awesome. You can also idle it up. It's so cool. Umbrella stand. Lower boom down. Now let's not do that with me right here. Okay, time to climb in, wash some windows, and then I'm done. Day nine. Oh, I can also throttle up and throttle down from here. Those are vacuum switches. And I can also shut the truck off. So nice. So when I go up there and I'm working, I can shut the truck off. No fumes. No diesel. And I start it. Anyway, um... I'm totally bummed that I'm not actually building the addition. And this is technically not something that anyone would have to do building an addition. I mean, maybe it does kind of include it because you got to modify the current house. Um, but I feel like I feel like these days don't count. I'm not gonna. 
I'm not gonna ask that I trim them off until I get to 30 days and I'm like, I ran out of days. Damn it, it's these two. But, anyway. Um, yeah. Kinda stinks. Let's see if I can get in this bucket. I also found that I, uh, with these hooks, and I hook a bucket off of there. Because there's not enough room in the bucket for me and all my stuff. Actually, I have all my stuff in the bucket too. <clears throat> but, yeah, kind of stinks that I'm not building. need an umbrella anymore. The sunset's crazy. Check this out. Oh, that was all pink a second ago. Oh, there's that lower control switch I flipped. 